so I was at my local pond fishing and uh, this guy that I always talk to was there and uh, we're just talking about fish. We're talking about the cichlid that I caught yesterday and um, he notices a little mud turtle in some of the, okay, thank you, in uh, some of the like mush. It's got like a lot of like plants, lily pads, it's all caught up. There's a bobber right by it and this turtle just keeps flipping around little mud turtle and it's just flipping and it's literally right by the bobber and we're like oh that's weird hope he's not caught on the bobber five minutes ten minutes go by he's still there flipping around so we he finds this big stick that he knew where it was at and he's trying to get it the stick ended up breaking we're pretty sure that the turtle is stuck uh at this point we're pretty sure he's stuck on the uh bobber or caught in the line so I have a, he's looking for bigger sticks, but I have a big pool skimmer at my house that um, has a net on it for fishing purposes. Uh, so I'm on my way home to go get it. I live thankfully pretty close to the pond, so I'm gonna go get that. I'm assuming he'll probably still be there when I get there, the, the guy that I talked to. And so hopefully we can rescue this little turtle. Cool, so I found my pool skimmer. I got it here with me. Uh, it's super long net. It gets really, really long, so I'll be able to, I should be able to hopefully reach the turtle. All right, I'm at the pond. Let me go ahead and get it, the stuff out of my car. Sweet. So I did not get this part on video, but he had a hook in his mouth and I was thankfully able to get it out with some pliers. And you can see that part of his beak is missing, I think just from being on the hook for so long. Um, but from what I've read online, it should grow back. So that's good. Been like that for a while. Cause like, see how half his mouth is gone. Maybe from rubbing, you think? Trying Maybe. Trying to get off. He'll be all right. His mouth, if it shuts, I'll see if it shuts. He'll be all right if his mouth shuts. You shut your mouth? Uh, that's like cartilage, and I think it might grow back, but I don't know. I hope so. Yes, I just saw him open it and close it. Sweet boy. You want a worm? <laughs> So yeah, like I said, I read online, his beak should grow back. Um, we tried to give him a worm. I tried to see if he'd eat it, but he was not wanting it. I think he was just extremely exhausted. Um, another side note, I think it's a musk turtle. I'm, I'm not sure. It's either a mud or a musk, and I'm not 100% sure, but maybe the belly looked more like a musk from what I was looking at online. But if you know, definitely comment down below. Let me know if you know about turtles, because I'm definitely not an expert. So I eventually put our friend along the edge of the pond, close to the same area that I found him in, and we just kind of stood back and watched for a while to see if he'd go back in the pond, which he didn't. I think he was very tired and probably a little freaked out that we all were there. We even had some people walk over to see what was going on and hear about what was going on with him. And you can't tell it too well, but we ended up putting him in the water and he didn't go anywhere for a long time. I finally, I think I tapped on his tush and he <laughs> ended up swimming off into the water. Hope you guys enjoyed my little turtle rescue video. I actually rescue a lot of animals. For example, there's my Jack Dempsey cichlid that I just recently rescued. I've rescued mice, 
I recently rescued, helped a baby bird. I've helped my friend with some kittens recently. Um, a dog that I found roaming loose. So this is a pretty common thing with me. It was just, I was fortunate enough to think about it and was able to get this on video, me rescuing the turtle. So um, if you like this kind of content, make sure to give it a subscribe and a thumbs up. I'm gonna try to make more videos like this in the future with my experiences when I'm rescuing animals. Um, while we were there, we actually did go and get another bobber out of the water and just to make sure that no animals would get caught on it. Thankfully, this one did, I don't believe this one had a hook on it. So um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So until next time, bye.